Hey guys, and welcome to our live stream here on the 11th in the 11th. Um, I'm just gonna wait and see if the first people are tapping in, so I know if the sound and everything is on. Hey Rian, can you hear me? Hi Ula. <laughs> So guys, um, let me know if you can hear me, because then uh, then we're good to go. <laughs> so while we're waiting for people, welcome to my crib. Here, here do I here do, here do I live here I live. <laughs> I have like one room. There's one big bed, and another room. There's also a bed. <laughs> okay, so hey guys, awesome. <laughs> so, um, this year so far has been quite a journey for many of us. There's been a lot of energetic shifts and a lot of confusion for many people, and a lot of adjustments. Also, there has been a lot of development and, is di and in this time, it might feel like we are on a hole. It might feel like ah, we need to settle back take, and take a moment to rest, even that for many people, it doesn't feel like rest. What we actually are going through is we are going through a period, a period of transcendency. That means that those who were the awakening from the last wave are sort of kind of waiting because now this second wave or third wave is a reawakening, which is unbelievably cool. And um, in this time, it's always old stuff coming through the surface. It's the same every year. So I will be saying this every year. It's about looking inside. It's about fully surrendering to the process. And one thing that really truly are in focus is this thing about you reclaiming your own energy. You standing within yourself and accepting yourself exactly the way you are. So in this awakening time, <laughs> we have had a lot of speakers and gurus and who am I to say that? I'm one myself. Not a guru guru, but somebody who shares knowledge. We have a lot of seers and we have a lot of spiritual people. We have a lot of perspectives and perceptions. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful to share and it's beautiful to help each other to become more conscious. But <laughs> in this time, it's so much about you listening to your heart. So no matter what who says, Always run it through your own perspective of your own heart's perceptions and feel, does this feel right for me? Does this feel right from the path that I am to walk? Does this help me on the journey that I am on? So the 11-11, ta <laughs> This meditation it will be about opening your heart. It will be about letting whatever needs to flow, flow. And to become closer to ourself. To feel what feels right within you. Within us. Um, <laughs> so uh, we're going to walk into a really... Ah, that's, I shouldn't tell that yet. <gasps> okay, I'll do it anyway. The time there is uh, coming soon, after, after December, <laughs> is going to be amazing. Because we have this next wave of awakening. And of course it's going to be a little bit chaotic. But it leaves so much room for so much light to enter this planet. The light is already here. But for us to become conscious about this shift is going to be absolutely amazing. So... We would like to dedicate this day, this gateway, 11-11, um, for you to come in tune with yourself. 
and we are getting started slowly around <laughs> for you to be reconnected with yourself your truth you're in the journey i would we will just guide the the opening and the angels will surround you and your helpers and whatever energy forms there is to support you in this part of your process will enter your space and that's it i will we will leave it open so whatever is to happen within yourself and your journey is personal and individual i will love for you guys to share it here on the um, what do you call it the live stream thingy afterwards uh, to hear how you experience it so i don't have a watch but i have the feeling that we are getting started very soon to to tap in um, so while we're waiting, I've been thinking about um, this perception of Earth, right? That we, for a long time, the perception have perception have been, well, Earth is hell. So <laughs> don't fear going there; you're already there. But lately, I thought, hmm, ah, we could shift the perception. So out in the world. Out, out of the world, in the universe, there's a lot going on. And people are often talking about these intergalactic wars and, and all this responsibility and uh, planet alignments and stuff like this. So I was just thinking, what if Earth was a vacation? What if Earth actually like are this beautiful, beautiful opportunity to just learn what it means to have a heart to learn what it means to connect through a heart system and to fully feel how it is to live through senses and physical uh, existence what if we could shift the perception of the world reality to be hell and suffering into be beautiful and blissful to have the experience of. Sometimes, uh, oh, whoop, okay, I'll tell it. So one of the reasons <laughs> we are here today is also, I would really love to, and I'm gonna invite you guys to look at yourself, where you are at right now, in this moment. And also you who think you are stuck or who think that you're repeating the same pattern over and over, look at yourself. And realize how much more aware you are, how much more conscious you are this time around than last time you were in this situation. Because you are ever changing. And for those of you who fear to make the same mistakes, listen, every single time you walk the same path, you learn. So it will never be the same. It will always be ever-changing. You are frequency, you are energy. It is impossible to stand still. So what if we shift that perception of being stuck to realize that we are ever-moving? To realize how far you came, how much more conscious and aware you are in this situation. So... Just take a moment for that one. I will, uh, I will look this time thing. <laughs> okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly start. Are you guys ready? <laughs> Are you guys also ready? Oh, of course, you're always ready. Okay. Allow yourself to feel your feet, solid planted on the floor or laying, however you feel comfortable. Allow yourself to feel your physical body, to feel your existence. And breathe all the way to your stomach.
I feel how the energy are just racing through every single cell and every single particle within yourself. Gonna do it one more time, all the way down to your stomach. For every time you breathe in, feel how you are opening your heart space, how you open this cylinder of unconditional love and light racing through your body. Every single breath we take is about taking light in and joy. And every time you breathe out, you can let go of whatever there is no longer room for because now it's time to fulfill the love. When you're ready, I will like you to go to your heart space. Just where you feel the most safe, you feel the most home, you feel the most love. And only repeat one sentence in your mind. If whatever thoughts come up, you just say, I am ready to perceive whatever I'm meant to perceive in this moment. Thank you. And I see the angels. Angels are starting to do their works and the beings and the helpers slowly starting to tap in. I will just leave you guys to do whatever is supposed to be done in this moment.
want you guys to know that we are here and we are here to support you fully. You are never alone. You never were alone. Even in the moments that you feel the most loved or mo most left, <laughs> you are the most loved. You are the only one who can let us in. Enter your heart space and believe that you are to be loved because you are. Enter your heart space and trust that what you feel is truly right and is truly right for you and your path. Don't fear to follow your intuition. Don't fear to follow the journey of which you feel that you're sent here for. Because that is for you and you only. You are important. You are special. None of us are here without reason. So you are reason. Please ask our help. <laughs> We will always be there. We will love to. But you forget to see us. In your greatest moments. In your most difficult moments. Ask and we will be there. The beautiful thing about angels. And these kind of energies from the universe. Is that. You don't always receive the help. In the form that you ask it from. From a mental perspective. But you will always perceive it. In the form that you truly need it. So be open for change. And be open for new opportunities. When you think your life is the most dropped on the floor. It is actually where you are ready to step into what suits you so much better. So whenever you guys are ready. You can come back to your whole full body self. I'm already twinkling my toes, so I'm, I want to s invite you guys to like move your toes, move your legs a little bit so you can feel that you're present in this moment. For you guys who need to stay longer uh, within the meditation, you stay. You do whatever feels right for you. <coughs> well, I'm not too